Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be continuing my discussion on density matrix theory, and this time we'll be looking at the time evolution of the density matrix and the Loisville equation. So, to find the time evolution of the density matrix, all you gotta do is take the time derivative of the density matrix and you use the chain rule, and you see that each component will use the time Schro dependent Schrodinger equation to see that uh, you get some commutator, which you'll see here. Okay, so we have that the time derivative of the density matrix is equal to negative i over h bar times the commutator between the Hamiltonian and the density matrix. So just walking through each and every step, so we, here we use the definition of the density matrix. Here we did the chain rule from calculus, so we have the time derivative of a product is equal to the time derivative of the first component times the second component times the second component times the time derivative of the first component. And then we use the time dependent Schrodinger equation and we notice that the time derivative of the wave function is equal to negative i over h bar times the Hamiltonian times the wave function. And we get back out the density matrix and the Hamiltonian and we take out I over H bar to make it clear that yes this is indeed a commutator between the Hamiltonian and the density matrix and since they're both matrices it is possible that the commutator is not equal to zero and therefore uh, it's interesting stuff so in general, you can define a new operator uh, like this, and let's call it the Louisville operator. You can define it as negative i over h bar times the Hamiltonian times blank, uh, where the blank is the thing you want to operate on. So for instance, the Loisville operator times the density matrix, or the Loisville operator operating on the density matrix is equal to negative i over h bar h times rho. And so this equation here is called the Loisville von Neumann equation. Or just the Loisville equation for short. And the operator is in general it's called a super operator. So a super operator is where you, that operator operates on an operator. And it's defined just like so, but the I over H bar may not be there, and the Hamiltonian may be a different operator. So that's all I wanted to say, short video, uh, but these are really important concepts. So I just wanted to show that they're very easily derived. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.